The biggest thing that a narcissist wants in a relationship is gaining and maintaining maximum control over the situation and you as their partner. They control you in many ways, directly as well as indirectly. And when it comes to the direct ways of controlling you, they control things like what you eat, what you wear, who you talk with, what your relationships look like, what your finances look like, if you work or not. Everything that is on surface, that is visible, that is quite obvious. And you might try to put a stop to these things because you know you are being controlled. But when it comes to indirect ways of controlling you, that is when it gets really subtle and dangerous. Why? Because they put this doubt in your head and you start questioning your capabilities, your abilities, your resourcefulness. They make you feel smaller. They make you feel lesser than what you actually are until you hand over your life and its control to them and they get to drive you. They get to decide things for you. They make you do things without you knowing that you are being covertly or subtly controlled. This is what we're going to talk about in today's episode. Hi, I'm Danesh, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional. In this episode, we're going to learn about five ways a narcissist makes you feel small and ugly. If that sounds interesting and you want to learn more, please make sure that you subscribe by pressing the subscribe button and push that bell icon to stay updated with everything latest that I post over here. Also, make sure to follow and subscribe as well if you're listening to this episode on a podcast channel. Let's get started. Number one, they get addicted to pornography. Nothing will make you feel worse about yourself than your partner sexually abandoning you and obsessively watching porn. Their porn addiction makes you question your attractiveness, enoughness, and self-worth. And it is a subtle way of breaking your spirit and confidence in your sexuality. Now, this is not about porn. It's not about if it is right or wrong to watch it. It's about the narcissist this usage of porn. In this context, we are talking about this addiction that the narcissist gets and how they objectify you using porn. They just constantly watch it and watch it and watch it obsessively and abandon you, withhold sex from you. Their porn addiction makes you feel smaller in yourself. You question, is it me who lacks something here? Is it me that needs to change? Is it me that is not able to satisfy them? What is wrong here? What is going on in the situation? Because they are constantly stuck with pornography and they keep watching it and you cannot make sense of what is going on in here. Number one, why is this addiction there the first place in second why they are abandoning you and preferring to watch something that is so unreal you need to understand that it's not about you it's more about them because when they watch porn there's a lot of unrealism there things that they cannot do with you so in their head having sex with you is boring or you're not worth it or you are not up to the standards that they have set for you so they get their fantasies met through porn they are absorbed in it. That is what stimulates them. What, that is what gives them the high because they are fake. So they are attracted to fake. What you see, what you watch in, in pornography, almost all of it is fabricated. So they are more into it because that is what gets them going. With you, it gets real. With you, there is vulnerability. They would have to put themselves into the situation emotionally in one way or the other or listen to you or pay attention to your needs. So why would they do that when they don't care about you? They can get the same pleasure easily through looking at a screen and they do the same. They avoid you and then do that. And that makes you feel so small in yourself. That makes you feel degraded. That makes you feel objectified and most importantly, demoralized. Did you experience this with the narcissist that you were with? If yes, drop your answers in the comments below and let me know how it was like for you when you were in there. Number two, they use subtle insults and ambiguous references to put you down. A narcissist is not always overtly degrading you, insulting you, putting you down. They're not always calling you names, more so a covert narcissist. They can play these subtle games in a very, very hidden way and would hurt you but you would not know what hurt you, what hit you. Something would feel wrong, but you would not be able to put a point at the thing that caused this harm, that made you feel the way you feel. So they pass on these subtle insults, say things that they shouldn't say, put you down, pass a comment, a backhanded compliment that would make you feel so bad about yourself, but 
plausible deniability because you can't really prove that something was said as they their intention and their way of saying it seemed positive so you get trapped you know something happened but you can't pinpoint it an example of this could be the narcissist eating that last cupcake to help you lose weight or intentionally setting your exercise sneakers at a noticeable place so that you feel deeply insecure and unattractive. First, they compliment you and then shame you for the same thing that they complimented you for. That is crazy. They may pass on a degrading comment like, wow, you have really lost some weight. Poor drooping skin, huh? You feel like they complimented you, but at the same time, they stabbed you. Yet you can't make sense. It's like they're feeding you poison wrapped in honey. Number three, they downplay your accomplishments. They downplay your accomplishments by hyper-focusing on something irrelevant. You need to understand that a narcissist is pathologically jealous of you. They do not want you to succeed. They do not want you to achieve anything. And when you achieve something big, they make sure to destroy it for you. They make sure to make you feel smaller about the thing. They make sure to trivialize it. They make sure that you feel bad about this thing happening or it's not as important as you make it to be. They tunnel the vision by hyper-focusing on something irrelevant or unrelated to downplay something you have accomplished or are proud of. For example, if you have a pay hike, they may dismiss it as if it were a minor increase or shift the conversation to something entirely different, like something uninteresting happening in your neighborhood. Number four and the obvious one, constant comparison. A narcissist has to keep comparing you so that you feel smaller than this person, so that they keep setting these new standards for you that you, they know you cannot achieve or that they know you will have to put in more work to achieve them. But again, if you end up achieving them, the they would move the target, they, they would move the goalpost. It is never clear what they actually want from you. The same thing happens said the comparison is always present there they would compare you with a neighbor they would compare you with their friend's wife or husband they would compare you with the children they would compare you with the siblings they would constantly trivialize and minimize your achievements through this comparison and never let you feel satisfied because they do not feel satisfied in what they do so they have to project it on you you need to understand that this feeling of not good enough does not come from you this is not who you were as a person you did great things you are doing great things but this feeling comes from the narcissistic parent who constantly put you down who constantly compared you with others and these others were not even comparable because their history their life their circumstances their situations they were completely different they were not in the same league you were doing your own thing but the narcissist had to put you against each other and triangulate you through them so they did this comparison but it was not real so you need to release this you need to know that you are enough as you are you are as valuable as everybody else there is nothing wrong with you and this perfectionism has to go before we move to the last one i'm really curious to know if you resonated with any of this so far if you did let me know in the comments below when a narcissist withholds physical affection you feel used and unwanted they purposely pull away and avoid kissing or hugging or being physically affectionate to feel in control and make you beg to get your basic physical needs met. Withholding makes you feel undesirable, which destroys your self-esteem and self-worth. Physical affection being one of the most important needs that you have to get fulfilled through your partner, through the person that you live with, that you're emotionally connected with. Their withdrawal and withholding of physical affection constantly makes you question your attractiveness as a man or as a woman. And what you end up doing, you end up gaining weight, losing weight, looking a certain way, doing this, making that change to your appearances, ultimately changing yourself as a person, giving up on who you were before. And that is, that is when the demoralization happens because you unintentionally end up betraying yourself. You try to fit in this mold that the narcissist has created for you, the mold that is acceptable to them. And even after doing that, they still find flaws. This is not enough and that is not enough or this was not done the way that I wanted and so on. It never is enough for them because their own container is empty. How would you ever be able to fill it? Because they do not want to fill it. They want to project this emptiness on you. 
And that is where this not enoughness keeps coming from. The other sadistic thing about this is that they punish you by withholding physical affection. They know that by withholding physical affection, they would be able to target you right on the spot. They know that when they hug you or kiss you, even if it is on the surface, you feel connected. That is the only time you feel some kind of calmness. You feel like the relationship is back on the track. That's when they breadcrumb you a little bit and they take away that breadcrumb as well when they want you to do do what they want you to do when you are not complying or when they want to take sadistic pleasure from punishing you that was it for today's episode i hope you found it insightful and if you did let me know in the comments and drop a like make sure to subscribe as well i will talk with you in the next one till then let the healing begin